Hello friends, and welcome back to Aaron's Anxiety. I am your host Aaron, your personal guide through anxiety. Uh, before we get started today, please hit the like button. That's going to help us reach as many people as possible. There's a lot of people that uh, are very scared and don't know what's going on, and without us hitting the like button and, and hitting that YouTube algorithm, we're not going to be able to reach them. Um, so yeah, if you've ever been in a bad place and you're trying to help, hit the like button. It's going to help a lot, okay? Small difference for you, big difference for other people, <laughs> okay? All right, and uh, if you haven't already, feel free to subscribe. Uh, if you've seen more than one video, I always say, watch a couple, then subscribe, okay? Know what you're getting into, okay? We don't need that kind of commitment. All right, and then uh, lastly, join us on Facebook, Aaron's Anxiety Family Edition, okay? So, not taking up too much time with that. Let's get on to the video. I've been taking a little bit more time in between videos because I've really been trying to think out and overanalyze, which I do, probably a lot like you. Uh, overanalyze what's going on, what I'm trying to convey in the best, easiest way to do that. Uh, so as we get started today, that I'm going to start. Uh, my avid YouTube subscribers know that I speak in euphemisms and similes and analogies, and that's just how I go about it. All right, because I think the more you can compare it to things that are that are because the, the, the brain's complex. Okay, let's be honest. So the more that I can compare it to things that we're used to, the more palatable it's going to be. So let's start out with the piggy bank. Piggy bank. All right, now, say you have a piggy bank, and you're going to fill this piggy bank up, and so you start getting nickels, you start throwing nickels in there. Uh, you could go a year, put nickels, pennies, and whatever else in there. By the time you get to the end of the year, uh, you think, man, this thing's full. This thing's got to be lock solid. I got so much cash in here. Then you smash it, and you go, oh, man, I got a whole $14.27. <laughs> you know what I mean? So... Um, that is a great analogy for how your brain works, okay? Now imagine the same piggy bank, but he filled it with nothing but quarters. You're gonna have a lot more value by the, I mean literally five times the value by the time you bust that thing out. Yeah, they're gonna take up a little bit more space, but the value you're putting in it is a lot stronger. It's the same exact thing for your brain. Look at your brain like a piggy bank. What you put in is what you get out later, okay? Yes, it may take a little bit more time. It may be a little bit harder to find the quarters, uh, which is the good information and the useful information and the beneficial information, but it's worth five times as much, and it's gonna it's gonna add so much more valuable to your mental piggy bank. Okay, so let's talk our way through this here. Uh, there's a lot of bad things on the news. Click on any news channel right now. I guarantee you, within the first five minutes, they're gonna talk about at least four or five bad things that are going near you or in a neighboring state. And now they're getting <laughs> desperate for stuff, so they're going countrywide or worldwide. You know, a bus flipped over in Israel. I mean, I feel bad. I don't want people to be hurt anywhere, but I'm in America. <laughs> what can I do to help a bus? You know what I mean? So it's not very valuable. Those are the nickels, okay? The news is filled with nickels of information, okay? Not a lot of benefit. There's some benefit, you know, maybe. I don't want to get on a bus that the wheel looks like it's about to fall off. This would be some benefit there. I don't ride a lot of buses, but if I do, if the wheel looks like it's going to fall off, I'm not getting on it. If it's overloaded, I'm not getting on it. Okay? It's a nickel. There's a, there's, there's a little bit of value there, but not much. So, here's how you fill it with quarters. You have to go out and search for the quarters. You can find a nickel in a couch. Okay? It's a lot harder to find a quarter in a couch. And if you're walking down the road and you see a nickel, there's a good chance you might not pick that nickel up. But if you walk past a quarter, you're definitely picking up the quarter. Right? Because they're more rare. They're harder to find. In a very small, you know, figure. But none of the same. It's the same. So, where you find the quarters is like, okay, I'm part of <laughs> I'm part of a thing called Good News Only on Facebook. And they, they constantly talk about the good things that are happening in the world and uh, funny stories and things that are, you know, put value into your heart and things that could be beneficial for you. Uh, and it's not like all the motivational thing. It's literally just good news. Like, hey, there was... Uh, a dad who made up these little you've probably seen the story he made up these little sound wave things and he put them in eggs that way his daughter could find eggs on Easter so he could hide them she could listen for the beep and go find them that's a cool story that's a cool one or the dog there's a dog that saved a baby is like a toddler from a mountain lion okay the, the mountain lion was going for the baby boom dog rushes in <laughs> the dog was not, I mean, the, the mountain lion definitely could have messed up the dog. And the dog made it. Everybody lived. Dog was a little battered, but he made it. Okay? Cool stories, right? 
this is valuable information. So the more good stuff that you're putting in your brain, the better you are going to be worldwide as far as how you are uh, associating with people, how you're associating with situations. Keep that in mind. What you put in is what you get out. So if you're constantly watching all the bad stuff, expect to be a little bit depressed. There's no way you can listen to all the bad stuff and then walk away with that chipper attitude. You know what I mean? So keep that in mind. It's a helpful tip. Here's the other side of the coin of this bank. Okay? You can put your own quarters in. Okay? Your brain, a lot of people don't know this, your brain's talking to itself constantly. It is constantly saying, oh, is this this? This is this. This is this. This is this. So your conscious brain is talking to your subconscious brain. And how you talk and how you communicate with the world is how your brain is going to identify itself. Kind of deep. Kind of deep for me, probably not for you. <laughs> but so basically what happens is if you say, oh, uh, my name's Aaron and I have this anxiety disorder. Uh, I have generalized uh, generalized anxiety disorder or I have a agoraphobia or I have whatever. Okay. The more you say that, the more it locks it into your brain. Your brain loves to identify itself as something. Okay. And so it'll also love to identify itself if it thinks something is uh, rare. Okay, so there's not a lot of people with generalized anxiety disorder that, I mean, there's more than you think, but a lot not, not a lot of people are actually going to come out and say it. Um, here's the thing. The more you say that, the more it locks it down into your brain as part of your identity and your brain will not want to let it go. Okay, I was a victim of this for sure. Okay, here's the thing. Change, change your speech, change how you talk about yourself. Okay, you know what I mean? Just... You don't have to say you're a trash man. You can say you're you're a sanitary technician. You see what I'm saying? Uh, that's exactly what you need to do. Not that there's anything wrong with trash man. Those guys make bank. Okay, just keep that out there. But just what I'm saying is, is just the more you say I have a disorder, your brain goes disorder, 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 disorder. You're identifying yourself with this disorder. So every time it comes up, your brain's gonna find uh, the pattern. And it's going to say, oh, that's me, oh, that's me, oh, that's me, oh, that's me. Now it's part of your identity. Do you know how hard it is to unlatch um, something from your identity than it is to just say, oh, I'm having some anxiety issues right now. Okay, so that's how I changed. I used to go, yeah, I have this like anxiety disorder. And then I learned that what I say has a lot to do with how I feel about myself and the world. And so I changed. I changed that. I now say, look, I'm, I'm having a little anxiety right now. This is temporary. You know what I mean? I'm just keep anchoring that in your brain even though i'm telling you and you're saying how am i going to trick my brain just keep saying it over and over you're going to trick your subconscious brain into letting that go i've already done it i know several people that have change your speech it will change your outcome okay this is very very important i can't tell you this may be one of the top i mean if i had a top five this is probably two or three you know what i mean of how important this stuff is so pay very close attention you're going through some anxiety right now you don't have an anxiety disorder that anchors it this is oh, i have this disease and it's not going to go away no it's going to go away give it time keep working it will go away for sure as it has in me and literally i'm up to probably hundreds at this point of people that i've come in contact with that have been there and back to the other side and save some, okay? And you will get there too, as long as you're patient, okay? So watch these videos. I'm, like I said, I'm laying down some very useful information here, and it's going to be of the benefit to you. Um, to, to at least, I mean, if you're gonna watch any of them, watch these next series of the, the, the Killing Anxiety in 2020. I, mean, I think I'm gonna start all of them with that, um, just so you can kind of have like a little playlist. These are gonna be the groundwork for how you get to where you wanna be. And it doesn't matter what stage you're in, it's always great to have the fundamentals, and these are going to be most beneficial to you. All right, friends, I'm going to leave this video here. I don't want to go on too long. I'm going to let you get back to your Monday, um, and I hope everybody's in a, is in, in having a good day and is in a safe place mentally, and if not, just know that you will be, okay? Don't give up, okay? Keep walking. You got it. Just keep on keeping on, all right? All right, friends, until next time, I'm Aaron. You're awesome, and I'll see you in the next video.